In this video, let us continue problems on applications of Heron's formula. Here the question goes like this. A rhombus shaped field has green grass for 18 cows to graze. If each side of the rhombus is 30 meters and its longer diagonal is 48 meters, how much area of grass field will each cow be grazing? So here we have a rhombus. A rhombus is a figure which is four sided with equal sides. The only way it differs with a square is its angles are not at right angles. So we've got all the data here as far as Heron's formula is concerned. I mean, we've got two triangles here, if you can see ABC and ACD, and it's got and we've got the measurements of all the three sides, 30, 30, 48, 30, 30, 48. All we need is the perimeter. So we know that how to find it. S equals A plus 30 plus C by 2. So we have 30 plus 48 plus 30 by 2, which is 54 meters. Now, most importantly, both the triangles are equal in all the aspects. So now, all we need to do is area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle ADC. So we just have to find the area of one of the triangles using the Heron's formula. So therefore, area of triangle ABC equals area of triangle ADC equals root of 54 into 54 minus 30 into 54 minus 30 into 54 minus 48 which is nothing but 54 into 24 into 24 into 6 54 minus 30 is 24 and 54 minus 48 is 6 and the square root of this is nothing but 432 meters square so we've got area of each triangle as 432 meters square so now the area of the rhombus is nothing but 432 into 2 times because the rhombus is made up of two triangles whose area is 432 meters square each. So 432 meters square into 2 times gives us 864 meters square. So the area of the rhombus is 864 meters square. The question here is how much area of grass field will each cow be grazing? There are total 18 cows in all. So 18 cows graze 864 meters square. So one cow gets to graze 864 by 18, which is 48 meters square. Therefore, one cow can graze 48 meters square of grass in the rhombus field, in the rhombus shaped field. So the question here is like this. An umbrella is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces of cloth of two different colors, each piece measuring 20 centimeters, 50 centimeters, and 50 centimeters. How much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella? It seems like a quite easy problem, this. Okay, first let's get the figure right. So here are the alternating colors umbrella. So the data says that the most important thing for us to concentrate here is 50 centimeter. 20 centimeter and this side is again going to be 50 centimeters. So similarly all the triangles are going to have this measurements. Now it is it is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces. That's the most important thing here. So 10 triangular pieces and each having this. Now sides of each triangular piece is very clearly given. So let us start away by finding S which is equal to A plus B plus C by 2 or 2S equals A plus B plus C. So here we've got all the sides, that is 50 plus 50 plus 20. So 2S equals to 120 or S is equal to 60 centimeters. So we've got S and we've got rest of the three sides to apply in the Heron's formula. So now let us first find out the area of one triangular piece. Area of one triangular piece would be square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C which is nothing but 60 into 60 minus 50 into 60 minus 50 into 60 minus 20. 
which is 60 into 10 into 10 into 40. So the square root of this is nothing but 200 root 6 centimeter square. So now the question here is how much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella? It is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces of cloth of two different colors. So each color is going to be of five pieces or five pieces of the same color. So 10 pieces of two different colors. So one triangular piece has this area. So all we need to do is find one colors area that is five pieces. So 5 into 200 root 6 is 1000 root 6 centimeters square. So therefore the area of each color is 1000 root 6 centimeters square. This completes this problem.